Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Calderwood, Chief Quality Officer at Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. I'm here to talk to you about the updated COVID-19 vaccinations for the 2024-2025 season. Over the past summer, we did see an increase in infections, and that follows a trend that we've been seeing over the last few years. We see a peak during the summer months, then settles down through the fall, and we see a second peak going into the winter. And while there were slightly more hospitalizations nationally during this summer compared to last summer, overall, there have been far fewer than where we were two summers ago and way back when things were beginning. We also have not seen a significant increase in deaths from COVID-19, and a lot of that is attributed to the vaccines. Now, if you remember in fall of 2023, the CDC recommended that everyone six months of age and older got a COVID-19 vaccine that was targeted at the virus circulating at that time. Much like a flu vaccine, you get an annual COVID-19 vaccine. Now we now have data from last year's respiratory virus season, and those who got this vaccine had significantly more protection against symptomatic disease from the virus, fewer visits to the emergency department and urgent care, and particularly amongst those with an impaired immune system, a significant reduction in hospitalizations. And we also saw an impact when we had increased vaccination in those living with people who have an impaired immune system. Now, every year, the CDC and the FDA look at how things have changed. And what is circulating this year is different than what was circulating a year ago. And in fact, the vaccine that people got last fall doesn't provide a lot of protection against what is circulating right now. And we also know that the protection wanes over time. And so it is recommended that everyone come out and get a new vaccine for this season. It's been shown that it provides about two to four times more protection against the viruses that are currently in our community. If you've previously been vaccinated, you just need to get a single dose of this new vaccine. You can even do it at the same time you get your flu vaccine. We recognize that people who are older, typically 65 years of age and older, and those with an impaired immune system or some chronic diseases like diabetes, lung disease, and kidney disease tend to see the most significant benefit. But we also know that they are protected by the rest of us in the community getting these vaccines. There's also significant protection for those who are pregnant. Now, I often get a question, what if I recently had COVID-19? We know that there were cases during the summer. You typically can wait up to three months after the illness to get the vaccine. That allows you a longer protection into the spring after you get the vaccine because there's immune protection after you recover from the virus. You don't need to wait the three months. You are eligible at any time. But people often say, I'm going to wait so that I get a longer period of protection. Now, COVID-19 vaccines are available now in the community. They're available in many local pharmacies. I recommend that people go to vaccines.gov to find a location near you. We will have the COVID vaccine available at various Dartmouth Health locations this fall. And I direct you to our website for further details. I want to thank everyone for continuing to listen to this information that we've been providing. We provide details on our website about where you can go for vaccines, what treatments are available, what to look for for symptoms. We will do our best to keep that updated, but please recognize that this is becoming an annual illness, much like other respiratory viruses, and we track each of them and do our best to make sure that you have the information and protection that you need.